Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Merry Christmas. It is me, Lasty, here, and today what I'm going to be doing is a Christmas-related Q&A. Uh, I thought I'd do a bit of a different, bit of a special video for you guys um, to watch on Christmas Day if, if you have the time. Uh, hopefully what you're doing is sitting back, relaxing, doing absolutely nothing strenuous, and just spending time with people that you love, your family, your friends, whatever it is. I hope you're having a lovely day, uh, and uh, yeah, just cherish it, really. That's, that's all that matters, isn't it, really? So I put a tweet out uh, a few days ago asking you guys to ask me some questions about me that were Christmas related. Uh, things you didn't know about me that you would like to know using the hashtag LastyXmas and a whole bunch of you sent loads of questions in. Big thank you for that of course uh, and let's crack on with the questions so that you guys can get some answers. Lasty, what's your favourite piece of Christmas clothing? So it would probably be this t-shirt, right? Like, because I don't have that many Christmas clothes so it could be this or maybe this jumper. I mean, it's like a Rudolph thing going on. He's got a nose and stuff. It's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Or maybe even this one. Um, yeah, I like added some bows and some. Oh, they're falling off some baubles that were on there. Uh, yeah, this is my tacky Christmas jumper. Look at the bows on the shoulders. Beautiful. Where do you want to spend your Christmas? Uh, most definitely, I want to spend my Christmas at home. I love being at home for Christmas, not having to do anything majorly crazy apart from help out with the family with like the, the Christmas dinner and stuff like that, and just genuinely chill out. I love being at home at Christmas. Would you rather get a pair of socks or a bag of coal? That's the easiest question ever. I'd much rather a pair of socks. Like I can do something with them. What am I supposed to do with a bag of coal? I've actually got to an age as well where, you know, Nice new pair of socks would be quite cool, actually. What do you have on your plate at Christmas? Ah, okay. So the plate at Christmas goes like this. Uh, it's like a it's a roast dinner on steroids, right? So it's like the best roast dinner you have all year long. Um, so we've got turkey. I have turkey at Christmas. A lot of people, I mean, that's like the traditional thing to have. Uh, a lot of people probably say they don't like it, like it's dry and stuff. But turkey's always all right at Christmas. You can have it once a year or so. Uh, and then you've got roast potatoes. Now, they have to be done perfectly that's like my duty i'm on spuds this year um and then you've got like your veg so you've got your carrots you've got broccoli uh like green beans and then um people like sprouts i hate sprouts so they're not going on my plate um pigs in blankets stuffing that sort of stuff and then it's all about the christmas gravy the gravy's got to be the best part it's got to be like thick and strong and lovely ah oh, i love christmas dinner what is your favorite christmas song i think it would have to be is it Slade? Is that the one where it's like, so here it is, Merry, oh, I can't even sing. But I think it's that one. I think that's Slade, right? And it's called like Merry Christmas. I'm gonna search it quickly. Yeah, it's Slade, it's Merry Christmas. I can't really put any in here because of like copyright and stuff, but just search it on YouTube or Spotify or whatever you use. Merry Xmas Everybody by Slade. That's the best Christmas tune in my opinion. What's your favorite ever Christmas movie and why? Uh, favorite Christmas movie would have to be Love Actually. I love it, it's ridiculously Christmassy uh, and it's got Keira Knightley in it. What is your favorite ever Christmas gift? Okay, so this is a good one. It's football related as well. So back in the day when I used to play football, Football. Um, I used to love football boots, like getting the sickest football boots out there. And there was this one year where, if you remember the R9 Ronaldo, like people call him the fat Ronaldo or the proper Ronaldo, um, he had these Nike Vapors, right? And they were chrome and they were really shiny and really awesome. And there were like 5,000 pairs of them made. Uh, and they all came with like this little dog tag thing which told you which number you had. Uh, I asked for a pair of them and I just thought, well, there's only 5,000 in the world. I'm never going to get a pair. And uh, the story goes like, I used to have this, when I used to get a lot of presents as, as a, like a kid, I don't now, you know, I'm an adult, but uh, I used to have like this, this massive bag. It would be full of presents. And then I got to the bottom of the bag and there was, it was like done and there were no more presents and I hadn't got my boots. So um, I wasn't expecting them just because I didn't think that they were going to get a chance to get one in 5,000 pair of boots. Um, but my parents had put like a false floor in the bag. So there was another part to me for me to open. And I found them and there was these chrome Nike vapors and it was the best thing ever. I literally think I wore a pair of football boots around the house for about two weeks. They were awesome. Who do you celebrate Christmas with? Friends or family? So Christmas to me is about family. Uh, I spend Christmas day with 
uh, a few members of my family that come over uh, and then like Boxing Day or the day after that I have uh, a larger amount of family come over from the other side of the family uh, and we just basically all pig out. There's like a buffet going on, uh, everyone has a few drinks and it's just a really good laugh. You know you do all the tacky stuff that families do like play different games and all of this stuff. It's just really good fun to spend time with everyone and you know just, just chill out, you know, do nothing really do nothing apart from eat drink and play games having said that i do like to see my friends like before and after christmas um and have a nice little bit of a festive time with them they're always obviously a massive part of my life as well most embarrassing moment in christmas i don't really feel like christmas is a particularly like embarrassing time is it i can't really think to one in my head of like what i remember being really embarrassing but i know that if i looked back at old like family videos of me at christmas I can remember there's one where I'm dressed up in like a full Power Rangers suit um, and just like pretending that I'm in Power Rangers. So if I look back at it, that's probably really embarrassing as I was probably about five years old though. So you gotta let me off, right? And for those wondering, I was definitely the Red Ranger. Are you an early Christmas decorator or do you wait until the last minute? Oh yeah, I get the decorations up as early as possible, right? As soon as the 1st of December hits, I want the house to be like fully Christmassy. As you can see, Look how Christmassy I am. No, but really, like, <laughs> outside of this room, the whole house is really nice and Christmassy. We always go, like, as a family, I meet up with all my family, and we go out and pick a real Christmas tree um, because uh, they smell good and it's just festive. And it's like a tradition. One thing that we definitely do every year is meet up on their lunch hour and we go and pick out a Christmas tree. It's awesome. What's your reaction when you get a present you don't like? I've been pretty lucky. I don't typically really get, like, presents that I don't like um but i guess maybe if i was younger and i got like a pair of socks or something i'd have been like oh sweet thanks that's really awesome nice one and then you just try and like shift the attention to someone else straight away uh, like hopefully they're opening a present and you can just focus on them or just open another present and get that one out of the way i don't know it's awkward i know what you mean but i don't really get rubbish presents what is the best slash worst present you've ever received? That kind of links to the last question. Like, we've already talked about what my best one was. That would, of course, be my uh, Chrome Mercurial Vapors. Awesome, I love them. They were, they were brilliant. Um, and then worst present I've ever received. It's probably like a secret Santa or something from back in the day. You know, something really tacky and shit. Um, but it was probably a good laugh at the time. I can't actually remember, that's terrible. And I've got no doubt about it that probably when I was a kid, like my parents would have given me like a lump of coal or something uh, in a stocking just to try and see what my reaction would be. I'm sure they've done that in the past. And finally, what is your Christmas routine? So this is a really good one to end it off on. I, I'd like you guys to know like what I do on Christmas. So it starts off um, about 8 a.m. I would say yeah, I'd probably wake up at around 8 sometimes 6 or 7 depending on how excited I am uh, But this year it would definitely be like 8 o'clock. I'm not I, I've not got that much to do or that much that many presents that I've asked for or want or anything um, So I'm not overly excited about getting up and opening the presents uh, And then the family will meet up so like me my mom my dad and my brother uh, and then we'll all sit there in the living room with the lights on the Christmas tree on and some Christmas music on and go through opening up presents and stuff like that uh, and, and doing all of that stuff. Normally takes like an hour, hour and a half, something like that because we take it slowly and just enjoy it. Um, that's always good. And then it's like breakfast time. So I'll have just some toast or something because it's then time to crack on. We need to get all action stations going on getting that Christmas lunch ready because we've got family coming around in a couple of hours. So um I will, as I said, I'm on spuds this year, but on Christmas Eve, me and my brother would have like made some pigs in blankets, sausage roll, we'd have like prepared some of the veg, like the sprouts and stuff. Um, but it's just time to make sure all of that stuff gets in the oven, gets sorted, help my mum out as much as possible, um, because I know that that's a stressful time when you're trying to get all of this roast dinner stuff going uh, at the same time. So I do my best to help out there. Um, then we have some family members come around, like my nan and my auntie and stuff like that comes around on Christmas Day. Um, and my nan's got a little dog, so it's always time to give the dog a few little presents to try and unwrap and stuff. That's always quite fun. Uh, and then of course you sit down for lunch. So Christmas time I have my main meal at like lunchtime. Um, so we'll sit down, sit at the table for a couple of hours, have that lovely Christmas roast dinner that I explained to you earlier on. And um, yeah, that just you just 
do all of that and then you're absolutely stuffed and you want to do nothing for the rest of the afternoon. So that's what you kind of do. Um, the Queen's speech is always on TV at 3pm on Christmas Day. So even though I'm not that fussed about watching it, we always watch it. Uh, and then I pretty much do nothing but sit there, snooze, have a drink, eat food and just, yeah, like have a good time really. It's, it's not nothing strenuous on Christmas Day. Maybe I'll, uh, if I've got a new like video game for Christmas, maybe I'll have a little go on that, see what that's like or something like that. But genuinely, I just, just try and relax and spend some quality time with the family, which you don't get to do that often. Then the extended family goes home and I'm just left with like me, my mum, my brother and my dad and, uh, we just chill there, probably like watch a film or something and, and again, just more relaxing and doing nothing. Clear up everything from the day uh, and uh, we're all knackered, I don't know, by 10, 11 o'clock. So you go to bed uh, and then it's time to pretty much do it all over again on Boxing Day. So that's been my Christmas Q&A. Hopefully you found out a bit more about me that you wanted to know. Uh, and the same questions that I've been asked by you guys, I kind of ask to you guys as well. So maybe you pick your favorite one or two questions from this video and leave a comment down below saying uh, what your Christmas routine is or whatever it was, what you have on your plate at Christmas, what your best present was, that sort of thing. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. The one thing I would like to ask is that you just relax and enjoy your Christmas time. Uh, if you don't celebrate it, then just, just you know, try and have a couple of days off or just do something to chill out. Um, but just I hope you guys enjoy and have a lovely time. A very Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for everything uh, that you've given me over the past year. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I'll do another video about New Year's resolutions and stuff in a week's time when that thing comes around. But yeah, just a big thank you really. Uh, I appreciate everything you guys have given me. I hope you get some cool stuff for Christmas and spend some time with those that you love. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>